that's great. I know how to use the Ingram Spark cover templates now, but how the heck do I do it for KDP? Well, I'm answering that question today for you. Don't worry. Hi, my name is MK Williams. I'm an author and independent publisher. I love sharing all things about self-publishing and my journey as a career author with you. Before I get started on today's topic, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. That way you can be here every week as I release new videos all about how to self-publish and how to make the most of your author career. Today, we're going to be going off of what we talked about last week. So last week, we talked about how to use the Ingram Spark cover template generator and how to drop your cover art into the template so that way it gets accepted the first time. So KDP offers this as well for your print books. So I'm going to be showing you the same exact process, how you get the template, how you make use of it, and how you submit it. Um, again, it's really simple, and I actually think the KDP version is almost too simple compared to the Ingram Spark version. Um, with the Ingram Spark version, you have you know these grid lines, and it gives all the details at the bottom. With KDP, it's just like here you go. Um, but I think it's really important, and if you are getting frustrated either with the submission not going through, you're getting QA errors, or you've ordered the author copy of your book on KDP, and you think, oh good lord, this looks bad um, because of how the cover art looks, I would always suggest go back and use the template. Um, the template is there for a reason and it can really help you, especially if you're like me and you're not a design minded person. Um, it literally shows you this is the extra space you need. This is where things should line up. This is where it will be off. Um, and I find it really helpful. So don't pull your hair out. Don't go crazy. Um, there are easy ways to do this and I'm going to show you how right now. Hey guys, so last week I showed you all about how you can drop your paperback cover art into the Ingram Spark template. And this week I'm gonna be showing you how to do that for KDP print. So they have um, this great link, and again, this will be in the uh, notes below where you can see their publishing guidelines and you can actually get a template from them. It's so much easier just to use their template because they make it a lot easier for you. Um, and you're gonna hit your head against the wall trying to get it right otherwise. So, um, and you can easily link to their publishing guidelines. This is gonna give you everything that you need um, so that way you know the different guidelines that they have. I always recommend taking a look at this or if something isn't working that you can go ahead and um, figure out what's wrong and troubleshoot it from there. Okay, so this book is six by nine. Yay! It's 236 pages still. The paper color is going to be cream. I don't know why that's on here, but it just is. Um, so I'm going to download the cover template. So this is a bit easier than Ingram Spark where they had to um, email me the, the file and then I had to wait a hot minute for it. This one is a bit easier. It just sends it to me. Okay, so it zips it over. Now you can see I put in it was 236 pages and it's giving me 240. That's just what they're doing. So what I'm gonna do now is go back into my Photoshop and I'm going to open that file that I just got from them. Six by nine, 240. Okay. All right, so this is obviously much cleaner. There's not as much of that extra information on there. So when I go ahead and I drop my file in here, okay, so it actually fills it. So I'm still gonna do what I did last time where I have it set to opaque, just so I can see what I'm working with. I don't like any surprises, um, and I wanna make sure everything is within the guidelines. So again, I can see because I did that math last time, I can see that everything on my spine will fit on my spine. My cover is going to be the way I expect it to be. I do know that some of my name will be cut off at the bottom. That's fine. I made it in this super fancy scripty font. Um, and I have my information here. Now it does look like this word may get cut off this time. I don't really like that. Um, so let me go ahead and change that. Actually, just gonna see if I can make this regular font so that my name is super bold and it looks awesome. Oh, wow, it looks a lot cleaner. Okay, so file, save, export. And you can see how going back and forth a few times, it's good to have the file still open when you catch something like that. You can easily just go in and make that correction. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in here. I'm going to delete this layer. I don't need it anymore. I want the new layer just created. Pretty much just saved over the old one. 
Okie dokie. All right, and so now I can see that this text is not going to cover there. It's not going to get in the way with any barcode. It is going to be set just the way that I want it. So I'm going to save this at 100%. Enter. All right, I'm double, double checking the requirements here. Okay, and it says that it wants it as a PDF, so I am going to export it as a PDF. Hey guys. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Now, I do have more videos coming for you guys in the upcoming weeks about all things cover related. So if you have more questions related from this video, drop them in the comments below. I'll likely be answering them in the upcoming weeks. Okay, I hope you found this really helpful. Um, just like with Ingram Spark, these templates are completely free for you to use, and I hope that you make use of them so that way you're not pulling your hair out, you're not going crazy trying to get things to work. Um, there is an easy way to do this, I promise, and I found that the templates are super helpful um, and make my life as an author easier. Um, if you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. That lets YouTube know you found value from this information and gets it in front of other authors like us. Now you can get back to writing or submitting your book.